<laughs> Not just that, like, <laughs> the Diddy <laughs> gonna be on a roll as well. So I've known for Yeah, them. so he's starting out on Lylet. I can, I can see how it happened in the stage striking process, yes. But it's most likely going to be pretty good here for Okay, that's Lylet. an offstage, potentially edge guard situation. He says a double jump, okay. So he's safe for now. Nice power shield. Not quite fast enough to punish with the F-Tilt. Good thing for Light in this matchup is that the platforms are at perfect tipper up smash height here. So he can go for the things that worked out for him so far. That's true. That makes sense considering this pick. But his vanishes are kind of hit or miss again. Getting a lot of... Wow! How did that even I connect? have no idea how he didn't get hit by that affair before he could hit with the up smash. Does it have some uh, invincibility frames or some like... Untouchable uh, pixels. I'm not sure, but it seemed like he went right under the fair and then the Lilith tilt lifted him up a little bit to get the tipper. It's a yeah. definitely very crazy. Amazing awareness of the hitboxes there. So let's see if uh, Lilith is going to get a kill by not up smashing his opponent. I cannot remember when that was the last time. Well, there's a bouncing fish here and there. But here and there, but it's been a while, and we get the up smash confirmed. <laughs> well, Scythe giving Light a taste of his own medicine in that <laughs> regard. Yeah, that's true. But uh, Sheik up smash is a bit more surprising than the Diddy up smash out of the down if you ask me. That's right. That's it. Props to Scythe for bringing a China back so far. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's not toying around. Next time it's going to hit with a slight charge, it might kill. Again, these bouncing fish in neutral and vanishes all these seemingly random options, but Light is... Oh, oh my god! There's gosh. another up smash! Light is popping off on the up smashes, man. Definitely not toying around, and I, I just... It's so weird how he gets all these insane confirms for it, man. I seriously have to ask. When was the last time Light didn't take a stock with up smash? I cannot remember. Um, in the last game he played, I don't know who his opponent was, but I, I know that in one of these games he did an air dot read into Bouncing Fish. But that's just one time, and the other five stars in that game he pulled oh off of up smash. Like it's it's such, an, such a hard move to hit, you know? Yes. And he always gets the setups for it. Like, if it's a platform setup, um, Erdo set up out of a throw on f -tilt. He always positions perfectly and gets the up smash. So that's, that has been his money maker so far. He's in the money, isn't he? Uh, they should be in the money by, by this time, but... Yeah. So the diamond color isn't called diamond color for nothing? Like <laughs> you're cutting diamond out of the pot? Is that, is that called the diamond color? It's diamond the diamond color? color, isn't it? It's gold, though. I mean... I don't know what it's called, I just know that it looks like gold. What looks like gold? Uh, the, the, the sheet color. Or oh no, I, color. I'm referring oh, talking to the about up Bayonet. smash. Oh, the up, up smash, smash name, yes, it's called diamond, the diamond cutter. color. Oh, I thought about, we're talking about, how did we get yeah. to colors? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Cut I just have bad here. Red, uh, a little misunderstanding going here. But well, yes. How do you know the names of these moves, man? Well, uh, other commentators are using it, referring to it as diamond cutter, so I'm just using it as well. I think it's a nice name. Well, Diamond Cutter is a pretty slick name, and <laughs> yes. cutting diamonds is exactly what Light did in this set so far. Oh, yes. So Scythe actually switching to Bayonetta. So, actually, uh, Scythe wasn't the one who made Light switch, but it was the other way around. And let's see if that Bayonetta is going to help him out in this matchup. Yeah, Scythe Bayonetta, obviously not a random pick, but a well seasoned uh, character for him. But obviously not as uh, seasoned as his Diddy. Wow, that was a nice trade. Both players flying up for a second. Nice control so far by Light. He's playing the matchup really well and almost getting another down uh, up smash. 
Yeah, and, oh, and that's <laughs> that, that, well, we're starting with the lighty bouncy fishes there. Now that up smash didn't connect, what other move can I just throw out there? And it would be so yeah. crazy if that connected to two. Yeah, and these are basically out of nowhere. Oh, he was going for the jump read there, but Brenner Snare managing to catch uh, to break out of that. <laughs> okay, it wasn't a tipper, but it was still an up. That was definitely not a tipper, you're right. But my point how still did he stands. Get that? How my did he get that? Still stands. Okay, but that's a good opportunity for Bernella. Yes, nice SDI. And Bernella being one of the few characters who can break out of the F4 Bouncing Fish combo by using Bass Within. Yeah, also robbing light of the damage. Not going with the turbo the eye there, but Scythe gets the second back air here. Yeah, and now the stocks are evened out. But I feel like Light is controlling the game a little bit better than Scythe here. Yeah, so far it looks like this. But it's still Bayonetta we are talking about. Not quite getting the kill. Wow, that was close. If you wouldn't get that hit, the down smash. Might have get gotten the kill. Okay. We get some very nice damage by the Bernada combos. And uh, Cyber starting to summon these uh, back air walls. And he's getting the hits now. So yeah, it's in a very good position to close out this game. Looking a lot better here for Scythe percentage wise. He's trying to find that last hit, that last strong hit that he needs to get on Light. And Light, of course, doesn't yeah, want to give it to him that easily. Is this up, it though? It is it. Wow, so bringing it back it was looking so good at first for uh, Light in this game, but uh, Scythe was turning it up. And yeah, completely turning it around there towards the yeah. end. I don't think, I think during the time where Scythe gave Light like 120%, I think during that time Light took like 28 to Scythe or something like that. Yes. So Crazy outplays there in the neutral, insane damage conversions and Light not quite managing to find the openings that he needed. How is Game 3 gonna pan out? Scythe stays on the Bayonetta, knows that the tool helped him out here, wants to stay on that tool. And let's see how Light answers that now. Yes. So he should probably play like he did in the first stock of the last game, which went really well. But maybe it's too late for that because uh, Scythe already uh, adapted to that. Dropping the shield a bit too early, giving Bernetta the opportunity to punish. Okay, we got some platform situations. Nice rage of the witch time. Oh, with the grab there and Scythe right on top of that, yeah. throws him away from the stage, tries to edge guard, doesn't get it, covers the ledge, witch time, doesn't hit. Yeah, he was expecting he went, he's going in with a fair there. But it's really good that uh, Light isn't being too aggressive here and uh, isn't going to run to the Witch Times. Oh, and that Witch Time whips, but Light doesn't get the grab. Oh, and two Afterburner ah. kicks in the same direction. He tried to get the Nair into the other direction in the end. But it's still good damage and Cheek already at almost 260%. So that's... Wow, that was so low knockback. Nice conversion there. Even at these high percents. He's still getting these combos. Yeah, side making oh, oh, life really close. difficult for Light here. Yeah, this Bernetta counter pick working out very well so far. Scythe another position to uh, put a point on the board. Now, no invisibility, not managing to punish that. Looking yeah, for an up smash. Yes. <laughs> I was just about to say that. These are prime percentages for the up smash kill confirm. And he really needs it right now. Oh, what else? Just proceeding with the jab. That and multi jab it. was so late, didn't expect that to be possible at all. Yeah. But it suddenly yeah. summoned some darkness <laughs> before her. Not quite sure what exactly Scythe is going for with these on-stage down smashes. I'm not sure if the hitbox actually extends far enough onto the ledge with that. I don't think that that move can two-frame, to be honest. But I'm not 
if he's trying short. to cover like a high recovery option or something like that. But it's not happening. Light oh, yeah, is not maybe. falling for it. But he's already at 120. So as a Sheik, it's going to be so hard to still take that game. Close to impossible if you ask me. Yes, that's a confirm. Yeah, Scythe makes a show out of it. Goes up 2-1 in this set. Yes. Light looking a little bit, I have to say, a little bit frustrated from that. I, I can Understandably. I can see where it's coming from, but both these players, of course, seasoned veterans, not gonna let something like that turn up their mindset in the wrong way. Yeah. So I guess the probability of Light switching here is quite high. I don't, I don't think he's going to switch. You don't think so? No, I don't, I don't think Mario is the right answer for the situation. I think what Light needs to do is actually uh, change, maybe switch up his game plan with Sheik, but I don't think Mario is on the level to beat Sives Bayonetta. Especially because that's a matchup that you need to practice specifically. Mario has stubby little feet, he has difficulty getting in, so you need to practice a lot of these movement things. How do I actually get in? How do I play the fireball-based neutral? And Light's Mario is very flashy, fair spike heavy. These are things that are unlikely that to get in the Bayonetta matchup, so I yes. think he needs to find new ideas with the Sheik instead and of the right. character. He stays Sheik and is trying to pull it off with her. Let's see if he can switch something up in this game. Because if he can, that's going to be the end of his tournament life here. And Town and City being a very confident counter pick, but he's not going for the easy tri plat up smash setups anymore. Yes, I think he noticed that uh, he hasn't. His problem wasn't being killed off the top, but more like in back airs. So he's uh, trying to get some earlier up smash kills himself and picking Town and City. So far, it's not looking too bad. He's a nice lead. Oh, yes, there was nice a awareness by Saif to use the double jump, not landing on the platform there. Yeah, Saif was a bit too high to be trapped by this by that up smash. But that was almost it. Could be that City. the up smash doesn't hit on the Town City platform. Yeah, just quite out of reach. Another up smash attempt. Saif wow. towards it, and then that backer was crazy. Yeah, it might have been a hard read on the bouncing fish, if you ask me. Crazy place here by Scythe and Light. I think now we're seeing the a little up. bit flustered Light that throws out his kill moves, hoping yeah, they might hit. All the up airs. Wow, again catching the bouncing with the back air. He's yeah. placing that back air so well, like a bit higher than you would normally expect in order to hit these bouncing fish. But nice punch. Light finally gets what he needs, but I feel like Scythe has the mental edge in this matchup right now. Light is gonna need a it little. Looks like it, yes. Light is gonna need good confirm, solid neutral, not get hit like that, not a nice confirm there by Scythe, doesn't get any damage out of that heel slide kick. Well, that had a lot of potential even, especially on Town and City, but nothing coming out of it. And now both players trying to fall in the up air. There was a big chance, but not getting the up air for a potential kill confirm off the top. Wow! Down here onto dash attack. Some new tricksies are shown here by Light. And he, he reads the downwards APK. Now in the percentage lead, in the prime percentage for a potential up smash. I feel a witch time coming on. Yeah, he has to watch out for that. And nice TI on that. If he died up, he might have been hit by the neutral air. And again, Scythe oh exerting God. so much control. And that's the stock. He was waiting wow. for that bouncing fish. Insane play by Scythe right there. Sees it coming, does the short hop down there, and it kills so early, man. I cannot believe that he ran for that option in the exactly right moment. Well played by Saif, definitely proving that even though he lost earlier, he is still a number one player in Germany. And he's yes. going to move up to the loser bracket semi-final, where he will face off against Tom and Emo, the winner of which will be met in loser final by either Quick or Longo. And I have to say, Quick has been looking so insanely good.